Okay, uh, this is my freebie uh, power supply. <laughs> the guy threw it in because he'd had it on Craigslist for a long time and it just wasn't going anywhere. Uh, nobody really wants these things because what are you going to do with 5 volts these days at 8 amps? Um, I am interested though in converting this thing. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, see if it works. I assume it does. It's HP. Yeah, 5 volts. Uh, well, there we go. So you can lower it down to 4, well, 3.8 maybe? Oh, it's the resistor is a bit dirty. Feels like a wire wound. It uh, goes down to, ah, uh, maybe it's sick. Probably maybe the capacitors are going funny on it too. Um, anyway, 4 volts to 5.5 like it says, so you really can only adjust it to, to 5 volts and that's it. So, amps, yeah. Okay. Everything's kind of dirty, news cleaning and stuff, but um, let's open it up and measure that uh, transformer and see what kind of windings it has. Oops, sorry. Well, let's see. On this side, it's got two uh, windings here. I don't. And those look like uh, those look like primaries. So let's measure those. AC volts. Turn it on. I'm sure this will be 100 and, 110. Yep, 120 volts. So the secondaries must be on the other side. So we'll have to we'll have to get down to those. Right, have the uh, bottom off, and um, the uh, let's see. I don't want to touch. Oh, turn the power switch back on. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. Power switch is on. Let me point with the probes here, so I don't electrocute myself. So this uh, transformer has solder lugs on it, so. Uh, this, this, and this. So this is the center tap, and then these are the two taps. So uh, 10.1, 10.1. Yeah, see, 20 volts. That's good. So I can definitely repurpose this thing. So instead of 8 amps, 8 amps at 5 volts, 20, I should be able to get... Uh, Oh, if I can get plus or minus 15 at like 3 amps, that'd be perfect. I've got a, uh, got something coming in the mail that I could use on this. I'm uh, buying a, it's a, um, it's called a buffer. Uh, it's a TO3 type package. It's a buffer made by Burr Brown makes one, TI I think makes one, whatever. But it's uh, 3 amps. And I think it'll do picosecond rise times or something. It's it's quite wild. Um, I'm buying one used for $20. And that's how wild they are. Uh, so let's pull that as some piece of equipment. But I will put a uh, bridge rectifier on this. Get me some good voltage out of it. Yeah, that'll be great. Now the question is, do I just scrap this PC board altogether? And I'm kind of... I guess it holds the, 
Yeah, these screws here hold the transformer, so it's kind of kind of needed for uh, holding everything together. So I guess it stays. I guess it stays. I wonder what this trace is here. Big fat one here. Wow. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, this should be ground. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Yeah, center tap should. That should be ground. Uh, what is this? Nothing. Let's, oops, let's do DC. Minus 13. Well, that's interesting. Minus 13. Hmm. Uh, let's see. This looks like ground here. So the output is 5. So that's ground. So this is minus 8. Well, that's kind of weird. Zero plus five. What's this? Minus eight. Five. Oh, five volt. What? Oh, this thing was one of those upside down power supplies. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So I've been tracing out the circuitry on this power supply, and the topology looks like this. There's 120 volts coming in. Uh, it's um, wired so you can have 220, but uh, that's wired for 120. It's uh, center tapped, and it's center tapped uh, with the diodes in backwards, so it generates minus 13 volts. So if you consider this uh, center uh, ground, and in fact it is tied to chassis ground, um, so the center is ground, you're actually developing minus 13 volts, and that's buffered across three really big uh, trans geez, three really big capacitors. Um, and so that's your, uh, uh, that's your supply, minus 13. So why did they build this thing upside down? Well, that's so they could use NPN transistors. So back then, it was really, really difficult to do uh, circuits with NPNs in the positive lead. Uh, positive leg, but it was easy to do in the negative leg. It's uh, negative lead. Can't speak today. Um, so they used two uh, big TO TO3 uh, CAN pass transistors. Uh, these two are in parallel. Uh, their uh, bases are tied together. The uh, collectors are. Um, whenever you tie two together, you don't want current. Um, hogging on either one. You want to balance things out. So there's a point, point 0.125 ohm resistor, really big wattage resistors in, in the two uh, collectors. So that balances these two out. And you regulate, basically you regulate a minus five. So this is zero and this is minus five. But you lay, when you label it on the output, since they're floating, you just label them zero and plus five. But, you know, this is what it is. And, and this is why you can hook up power supplies backwards if you need to uh, make minus voltages instead of plus voltages. But anyway, uh, this is the uh, this is the circuit. So there's four big capacitors. Uh, these three are all in parallel, and then this one's across the output. And uh, yeah, so it's lot, got lots and lots of headroom. It's got 13 volts of headroom. Um, so wow, um, I don't know how much voltage these guys are going to drop. Now back in the day, you know, transistors weren't all that great. And so these may be dropping a couple volts. Um, so three, four, even three, four volts, you still have plenty of, plenty of headroom in this, uh, in this circuit. So it does have a very, very big heat sink on these two. <laughs> very, very big heat sink. Um, and it is rated at eight amps. So anyway, uh, that is what it looks like. Now, there's a whole bunch of other circuitry, you know, <laughs> down here. Uh, lots and lots of circuitry, and there's a, 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 a sense leads that go between these two, come back around. And uh, so you're sensing the voltage, and there's basically, this is basically an op amp, and uh, regulates the... Uh, regulates the voltage and keeps current surges down and stuff like that, handles power-up conditions, uh, all sorts of things like that. Oh, forgot to mention this resistor. Uh, this re resistor is a uh, 0.1 ohm, 40 watts, 
40 watts. <laughs> so very big resistor there, 0.1 ohms. And I think that's to protect the output from crowbarring, from hooking it up to something that is referenced to ground somewhere else. You have this 0.1 ohm here. Um, but I am no power supply designer. This power supplier, uh, power supply was designed by uh, uh, Harrison Laboratories, which Hewlett Packard bought. So it was the Harrison division of uh, Hewlett Packard. I don't know what ever happened to those guys, but uh, they built really, really good power supplies.